evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diary. Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's Congress Diaries. This is where we analyze, scrutinize, and explore the pros and cons of some of the more interesting and controversial bills in our Congress. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Nobody can deny that the Philippines is a disaster-prone country. In a period of a year, we have typhoons, earthquakes, and recently a volcanic eruption that has affected not only the province of Batangas, but other nearby areas, including Metro Manila. And responding to those calamities is the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. But some lawmakers feel that this is not enough. They had proposed the creation of the Department of Disaster Resilience. Several bills have already been filed to make this proposal a reality. But what can a Department of Disaster Resilience do to lessen the impact of a catastrophe? We will ask that question and more questions, actually, to our guest tonight, Congressman Joey Salceda. Good evening, Congressman Hi, Joey. Key. Hello. <laughs> uh, nice to see you again. Oh, yeah. oh, so and welcome to Congress Diaries. Thank you. So you see, For this is. Me. Oh my gosh, this is just the start, actually. So meron meron ka ng teaser, ha? Ah, but teaser we will lang. start. Uh, with uh, this uh, this bill. So, what are your views um, regarding our una, government's una, ako yung, responses? Ako yung principal author. Yeah, department. yes. Pangalawa, hinango po yun sa experience ng Albay. Okay. Kung saan po nakita natin na uh, pag sa ngayon, sa national, mm -hmm. ang, ang mga functions po ay naka-iwahiwalay. Right. At uh, ito po ay nasa council, hindi po opusina, kundi council. It's a council, na yes. Na pwede nakikita, pwede hindi. Mm -hmm. So, pag walang disaster, hindi nakikita. Pero meron po siya na mga clusters, meron po siya disaster preparedness, DILG. Yes. Para po sa disaster response, nandiyan po ang uh, DSWD. Tapos, mm -hmm. uh, nandiyan po yung disaster um, uh, rehabilitation na nasa NEDA. Yes. So, itong pagkaiwahiwalay, Uh, nakita na isa sa dahilan kung bakit nung panahon po ng Yolanda, ay eh, sampung libo po ang namatay. Gawa nga po yung kakayahan ng national government para po tulungan yung isang maliit o hindi kinaya ng isang local government. Kasi sa mga local governments, yung mga disaster offices doon ay permanent disaster management office. Sure. Which started in Albay in 1994 actually. Mm -hmm. The first in Asia. So, By having a permanent disaster management office, merong lagi nandyan patuloy na naghahanda, patuloy po na nag-train sa mga tao. Mm -hmm. So, kailang, pagdating, however, sa national, eh mukhang kinulang. Mm -hmm. So, yun po ang tanong nun. Doon sa Republic Act 10121, mm -hmm. na napirma po nung panahon ni Pinoy, yeah. um, nakalagay po doon na after five years, kailangan may sunset review. So, ang pinakatanong doon sa sunset review na nagsimula noong May 2015, ano ba yung, saan ba tayo nagkulang? Bakit marami pa rin na namamatay? Right. So, ang kasagutan ay dapat hindi na pwede council, kundi isang permanent disaster management office. Right. Kung saan yung disaster preparedness, kanya, nasa kanya. Mm -hmm. Disaster response, relief, rescue, nasa kanya. At uh, nandun din sa kanya ang disaster rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Ang isa po dyan, na nimbawa, na katulad ng... Um, pag-manage po ng calamity funds. Mm -hmm. Sa ngayon po, nakadistribute. Sure. Mayroong QRF dito sa DEPED, may QRF sa DOH. Kuminsan hindi naman nagagamit. May QRF sa DEPED, minsan hindi naman nagagamit sa DPWH. So ngayon, siya is centralized sa kanya. So pag nakita niya na may kailangang help, siya na magbibigay sa DOH para gamitin na limbawa sa taal. So, ang isa pang nakakalimutan ay siyempre yung disaster reduction. Right. Yes. Kasi katulad sa taal, Um, mabuti um, dati yung una mga balita wala nga na namatay so, sabi ko ibig sabihin yung mga tao sila mismo handa yes so, aware. Pa, kasi pagdating po nung mga mayors uh, nakita na lang nila yung mga tao nila ay nasa naka-evacuate na wala na dun sa mga lugar mm -hmm. so supposed to be nakabase po yun sa isang contingency plan mm -hmm. at ang tao alam niya kung saan siya pupunta which evacuation center eh, ang nakakaiba po dyan sa taal is that yung kanila pong evacuation, mostly, 
under sa 14 kilometer permanent danger zone ay sa labas po ng bayan. Hindi ka tulad ng sa Daraga. Pag pumutok ang Mayon, yung mga taga doon po sa southern na Mayon unit ng Daraga, pupunta rin siya doon sa loob ng Daraga. Diyan po sa Taal, eh komplikado ng konti. Dahil mm -hmm. po, yung mga taga-talisay, kailangan po umakyat ng Amadeo. Kailangan po umakyat. So, right. nagkakaroon po ng interjurisdictional na mga concerns. So, yes. paano yung pagdala doon? Paano yung paghatid? Sino magpapakain? Eh, lalong-lalo na ako yung mismong munisipyo, hindi masyado makapag-operate dahil sila mismo ay naka-lockdown. So, importante po na may, mayroon Big Brother. Mm -hmm. Ang Big Brother po yan ay ang isang permanente at hindi council, kundi isang permanente na disaster management office mm -hmm. on the national level. Right. So, when you, um, when you talk about um, having a permanent agency, what was the reaction of, of the House initially? Alam ko marami kayo naman na nag-file. Approved na po yun ng 17th Congress. So, ano ngayon ang, uh, ano ngayon ang uh, steps? Ay, ibig mo sabihin, pati IRR, okay na lahat? Hindi po. Hindi Nung ba? 17th Congress po, na-approve po ng House, na natulog sa Senate. Tapos okay. ngayon, uh, binubinuhay ulit, uh, tapos na po sa uh, committee, mm -hmm. nando na po, papasok na, nasa floor na po siya. For na, deliberation. Na, nasa interpolation na po siya. Oh, okay. At ako po ang tumatayon na taga-sagot. Taga, taga yes. Tapos pagkatapos niyan, uh, sa Senado naman, walo na po, anang, kung dati po, uh, halos isa lang po ang nag-file, ngayon po, walo po ang nag-file. Okay. And uh, so, ibig sabihin nun, mas... Mukhang mas malinaw na, na mapapasa ngayon. At ganito ngayon. kasi yan eh. Ang ating pong bansa ay talagang um, dumadaan sa masabi na natin maraming madilim na um, <laughs> uh, sa mga challenges. Congressman Joey, so, I, I like the way you try to uh, put things. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hindi, kasi nung Iran, uh, Iran-US war, yes. so naging ki kitang-kita doon ang pangangailangan Department of Foreign Overseas, of Filipinos Overseas and Foreign Employment. So biglang meron yung department. Yes. Tapos nung nagkaroon pa tayo ng last year ng problema sa tubig. Uh, Which is still uh, gonna oh, happen tapos now. Tapos hanggang sa naging problema na yung kontrata, Mm -hmm. Kinailangan po yung Department of Water at yun talaga mas kailangan. Mm -hmm. At nung tinamaan po ng dalawang lindol dito sa Katobato kung saan 50,000, 50,000 houses were destroyed. Mm -hmm. Half of them totally destroyed. Wow. Ganong katinding. Uh -huh. At nung pumasok po yung uh, dalawang bagyo na dati walang namamatay, ngayon marami na ulit ang namamatay. Yes. Mukhang Department of Disaster Resilience. And then, mm -hmm. Pumasok na nga ulit itong si Taal na nagsabi, oh, mag-disaster sila. So, ibig sabihin, para tayong um, we are being pulled in so many directions, but mm -hmm. in general, I think, uh, nakaka nakakapag-respond pa naman yung Congress in terms of time. I, I think, in fact, the greatest challenge to this Congress is time management right. in terms of how much you give to a particular concern. Mm -hmm. How much management time do you give to, uh, to uh, an imperative or uh, mm -hmm. an expediency, a national expediency? I understand because um, all of these things are happening at the same time. Yun nga. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman, pasunod-sunod lang. <laughs> eh, mukhang ngayon, uh, mag mm -hmm. magkakaya, tapos pumasok naman yung inkubi. Oh, eh, malapit so. na rin ngayon mag-summer, so ma mayroon naman tayong mga bagong problema. So, let's say na mag-win ng konti yung sa COVID na yan, meron naman tayong other Summer problems. Uh, COVID, I think the problem is more now economic than health. Because mm -hmm. uh, relatively, I don't know, magaling magdasal ang mga Pilipino. So, kung isipin mo, isa tayo sa dapat tinamaan niyan. That's true, ha? Uh, mara marami po tayong exposure. Mm -hmm. Unang-una, ang ating pong mga borders, napaka-porous. Pangalawa, yung ating pong mga border control agencies, customs, at uh, nagmahanap, smuggler. Mm -hmm. Yung... Uh, mm -hmm. Immigration naman, naghahanap ng illegal, ng illegal trafficking. That's so, hindi naman naghahanap po ng sakit. So, doon pa lang may problema na pangalawa, uh, parami at patindi ang global pandemics. That's uh, true. So, so, Congressman, ibig mo sabihin, kung mapasa itong batas na ito at magkaroon tayo ng bagong department, um, will something like, you know, COVID now also fall under this? Because 
will um, it not be considered part of uh, you know a disaster also or this will be totally under the purview of the Department of Health only ang proposal ako diyan magkaroon ng CDC mm -hmm. ang ibig sabihin yung katulad sa states kung saan meron pong separate agency with high enough visibility and ano kasi ngayon nasa bitukan ng DOH ang sumasagot po sa COVID. Yes. Yan po yung EB, yung, yung, yung surveillance unit nila, Epidemiological Bureau, mm -hmm. na ang budget dati 250, kinat pa namin to 115 for 2020. <laughs> okay. Ganon kami kagagaling. Uh -huh. Tapos yung meron po din sila ng DPSB, <laughs> yung Disease, Pro Disease Prevention and Control Bureau. Yes. So pinagalo yan plus RITM plus yung quarantine. Mm -hmm. uh, pwedeng buuin into a new uh, Center for Disease Control para sa US para po isa lang ang nagsasalita. Oo nga. So that's also another thing that we have to look at? I think Congress that's easier because it's just an amalgamation plus mm -hmm. certain powers na kung saan magkaroon po tayo ng uh, dito, Council for Health Emergencies na sila magkakapagsabi. Hindi yan na isa lang isang interagency task force magsasabi na, hoy, travel ban tayo. Hindi, kasi kailangan makita yung full range Correct. ng impacts nito mm -hmm. sa, sa ating national life. Mm -hmm. So, siya din po siguro magsasabi ng uh, wala mo ng klase. Katulad niya ang ginawa sa Japan. Japan. Yes. Halos um, lang buwan. Mag-iisang buwan sila walang pasok. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh. eh, yung sa atin naman, yung sinasabi ng iba na masyado daw knee-jerk Ma reaction naman yung ginawang total ban on travel to, let's Yan, say, South Korea. Yan, natin ni knee-jerk kasi wala pa nun si Bergere, yung doktor na, ano, na magaling talaga. Na, na nagsabi. Hindi naman yes. galing. Mag Finally, we found the, the proper ano, spokesperson for the OH. Right. Who, who really knows the subject matter. I see. And then, of course, if we had a council for health emergencies, then they, they would have the one to declare uh, no concerts. Ngayon, biglang, even DEPED would have their own. DILG would have their That's own. That's right. So, 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 it has to be one council saying what are the appropriate measures. And they will be represented there. And That's right. So, dapat may isang kumpas lang. Ano? Yes. Hindi kanya -kanya, and diba? that will be under a CDC. The CDC will be governed essentially by a council, a uh, health emergency council, a health emergency uh, coordinating council which can declare these travel vans, this can... That's true. Hindi yung pag isang tao, parang nagising ka sa kabila ng kama mo, bigla naisipan mo, ay, i-travel ban nga ang Taiwan. <laughs> Hindi. Oo. Kailangan po talaga, merong, merong... Uh, merong tamang pag-aaral. May isang institusyon na kung saan naka-establish ang mutual expectation ng publiko at ng gobyerno, kung saan na pag ito ang nagsabi na dapat huwag ka munang um umalis ng bahay, You heed and you listen uh, alam mo, to it. dahil ito sa siyensya at ito ay dahil po na pag-usapan ng mga mga eksperto. Otoridad at eksperto. Oo, tama. Okay, so Congressman, kailangan natin bumalik doon sa tinatanong ko sa iyo kanina. DDR. Oo, uh -oh, yung iyong uh, yung iyong bill ano, pero before we ask you any more questions on that, we will pause for a break. So, uh, please stay with us.
Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is still Congressman Joey Salceda. Stop looking at the camera, Kong Joey. I know you are trying to check the questions, the discussions, <laughs> right? But yes, um, so before we wrap up on that, I'd like to find out again. Um, so we were, you were saying that uh, the measure that you filed is already at the level of interpolation, right? So, and then uh, I asked you kung mas malaking chance ang mapasa ngayon and you said baka, baka before the end of the term of the president because that measure was signed by all the cabinet members right so They is signed, it a priority measure yes okay. it's in tatlong zona na eh oo Tapos, eh magpapangapat uh, na tayo this year nagkaroon kami ng konting debate dyan mm -hmm. mabuti ma mas malaman ng publiko mm -hmm. kung saan inilabang ko talaga yung version ko ngayon bakit ano ba yung version uh, na sa version kanina? ko po para mas malakas to kasi hindi tayo pwede na mayroong isang katawan na walang paa at walang walang right. kamay uh -oh. so kailangan mo boots on the ground so sabi mm -hmm. ko dapat ilipat ang bureau of fire so pumayag na ako na pag may disaster lang saka sila ililipat mm -hmm. Pansamantala. Okay. So, yung... Pansamantala? Uh, uh, there is uh, like a joint, super, joint operating supervision. I see. In times, during, before and after. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, fee box. Okay. Ayaw din nilang sumama That's niya. right. I, I, I read about it. Uh, tapos, uh, sabi ko naman, yung, kasi sa ibang bansa, ang fee box, actually, wala naman yan sa science. Mm -hmm. Ng fee box po, anibaw, sa US, ang USGS, mm -hmm. yan po yung nag Uh, parang fee box noon. Siya po ay nasa ilalim po ng Department of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tapos Tal yung, oh. yung National Weather Station naman nila mm -hmm. ay nasa uh, Department of Interior. Mm -hmm. So, in, uh, ang, uh, pero if you look at the OD theory mm -hmm. or the o organizational design paradigm, mm -hmm. the trend globally is to put organization closer to the people they serve. Okay. So, if you look at, uh, for example, yung uh, mga website ng Feebox ng, mm -hmm. ng, uh, at saka ng pag-asa, sasabihin ka agad, service institute sila, and sinasabi din nila na they are there to fight disasters. So, mm -hmm. dapat nandito sila. Mm -hmm. So, pumahig na rin ako ng joint operating supervision para makausad na. Mm -hmm. At yung sa Bureau of Fire naman, sabi ko, Meron tayong isang organisasyon, tapos biglang kailangan mag-respond yung national government, kailangan ka pa mag-call out. So, you need mga call out protocols pa. Hindi ka tulad dito na nandito yung Bureau of Fire. Kasi bakit Bureau of Fire? Mm -hmm. Yung polis kasi araw-araw may ginagawa. Tama. Uh, police peace and order. Yes, peace and order. Yes, drugs. Tapos yung AAP naman, insurgency. Sure. Tapos external defense. Yes. And yung Bureau of Fire. pinakamagaling magsumba sa lahat po ng uniform personnel. <laughs> Totoo Kasi nga, nag-aantay lang sila ng sunog. Hindi sa pag -ano sa kanila. Oh. I know they're very good in at the, what they do, yes. No, in disaster response. They are oh. the best. In, no, not people well do not know it, but in the whole world, mm -hmm. it is already the standard that during disaster, the first to respond is the Bureau of Fire. Okay. If you remember yes. the 911? Yes. Diba? Lahat ng memorial are ng for... Ng mga firemen, yes. Yeah, they're oh, all for that, fire department. That's true. Because um, hindi naman minuminuto may sunog. Tama. So they have the time to prepare and mm -hmm. they, uh, they are meant really to address disasters like fires because mm -hmm. fires are disasters. So there is compatibility with their institutional... Uh, Reason for being. Well, so at this point, pumayag ka na joint, joint operation. Oh, oh, joint <laughs> para ano na, para, kaya, para, um, para umusad na. Para kaya masasabi ko na mas magandang chance nito dahil yung, yung mga cobwebs na... Na clear mo na. Well, sa akin... Main, main obstacles are... Well, some Hopefully. people, some, they, of course, uh, Feebox does not want, they want to remain, Up to now. they want to be a science institution, mm -hmm. although their website says they're, a service, yes. says, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, there, there are turfing concerns, but uh, mm -hmm. to my mind, I just want this thing to move. Uh, anyway, there will be another administration to deal with that. So, I just think that, you know. People will realize that the Alam, best place for them is under a DDR. You know, that, that's your congressman, ano? And also, I think, like you said, time is your biggest problem. Uh, ilan na lang yung natitirang session days okay. nyo ngayon. Diba? Malapit na naman kayong mag-break. And then, after that, 
uh, we're also looking at other big issues that the con that Congress Sitira. is facing. Sitira. Yes. Oh, we actually guested um, Secretary Ramon Lopez here, although he's uh, also positive, eternally positive on the Sitira bill. On the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he, he said that, you know, he's, he's very hopeful on that. Ang no? wala sa atin na sa Sitira, gawa oh. nga hindi natin na ipapasa. Kaya nga. Nagsabi ka na babaguhin mo, tapos mm. hindi ka naman nagbago. So, uh -huh. dalawang taon na yan nakabinbin, noong January 23, 2018, sinabi ni Pangulo na magkakaroon tayo ng one, pagbaba po ng corporate income tax. Mm -hmm. Pangalawa, na babaguhin natin ang tax incentive regime. Right. Na-announce mo yon yung mga negosyante, ah, wag muna tayo kasi di natin alam kung anong pinapasukan natin. So, mas importante na ngayon na hindi namang sa kahit ano na lang, pero the way the Senate has uh, formulated it, if that's the way they approve it, I'll accept it. No buy cam. Really? Yeah, no buy cam. No buy cam. If, if that's the sitira that they will approve, the one that was submitted to the floor, mm -hmm. I will accept it. Pero, because time, we lose too much. My estimate is that we lost $12 billion in foreign direct investment simply because of the two year of uncertainty due to Sitira. Yes, I know. And besides your background, obviously, is uh, economics, financials. You're an expert on that. And I'm sure you, you will know that. <laughs> no, we met each other uh, at the stock exchange before, di ba? Uh -huh. So ngayon, uh, Congressman, ano kaya yung mga reasons? Bakit hindi umuusad masyado yung mga priority measures natin? Ano ba to? Dahil marami rin masyadong... na calisthenics sa, sa House. E may bago daw kayong speaker? Ah, <laughs> wala, hindi ako wala ka sa akin eh. Kasi ako naman eh, susunod ako kay Pangulo. So kung, kung anong hindi, sinabi ng Pangulo. Hindi, un, alam mo naman, that Congress. But yan. there's a term sharing, hindi ba? O di, oh. yun ang susunod ko. If that's the last Kailan one. Kailan ba yung sinabi nila na term September sharing? September 30. Ah, so after ng uh, so September, na. September 30, then we will see a reorganization of the House as always. But, uh, but there's a lot of allegations now and it's uh, I think that that's uh, what Congress is uh, now focusing on also. Kung sumagot ba? ka, talo ka. Kung sumagot ka. Talo ka. Kung sumagot saan? Doon. Mm -hmm. Eh, alam mo naman yan, parang yan isang dinigyan, inarap kasi isang salamin, may nakita ka. Mm -hmm. Multo pala. Oh. Multo mo. Pag sinagot mo yun. Reflection mo eh, oh, di ba? <laughs> eh, sabi ko nga, isa, you know, politics is a house of mirrors. That's, and that's, that is essentially magnified and amplified by social media. And of course, before it was simply at least not a rationalized if mm -hmm. it was the mass media. You will because there are rep obligations mm -hmm. and people have rights. But in the social media, when things get magnified and amplified through that medium, then there, it's an entirely different thing. Yes, and therefore, the thing to do there is to not uh, say anything at all. No, no, man. Oh, you stick to the contract. Stick to the contract. Yes. So you will. Um, the contract is well. The contract here is a gentleman's agreement. Right. So I would rather stick to it because th that's not but, a mirror. But don't don't you think that uh, that's supposedly what they're trying to do? I mean, that's my do? guidance. Yeah. That's my guidance. Oh. oh. So. So hindi ka naman approach. Kung may pinakita ang ako po. Hindi ka naman inapproach. Hindi ko alam kung bakit parang <laughs> sa mga nalok ko hindi ako inapproach. Hindi ka tinawaga. <laughs> hindi ako sama. Hindi ka sama sa twenty. <laughs> yun. Sabi ko para ang baba ng tingin sa akin nito. Hurt ka. Ah? <laughs> na hurt ka kung. Hindi. <laughs> uh, I am fine where I am, and I think uh, the the mission that are being thrown at my committee, mm -hmm. we are at the forefront of the reforms of the, this administration. That's so, true. That I have enough to chew in so, my plate. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, you are satisfied with the way things are going now in Congress under the current leadership? Because I define myself based on the contribution to the national goal. Yes. You, Does the, I am, be, am I being given the support? Yes. Yes. Am I being given the opportunity mm -hmm. in order to bring out the potential of uh, our of um, the the the, 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 the system? Mm -hmm. I think yes. So okay. if the system is to bring out the best in everyone. So I think that's still a no. Fair enough, Kong Fair. Joey. Kasi pag, pag tumayo ako doon sa gitna, halimbawa, dinidefend ko halimbawa yung sitira. Mm. Well, it, it gets approved. 
-hmm. I get a few questions, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it gets approved, mm -hmm. and then now it's about to become a law. So but it's good for the country. Yes, I mean, uh, I, is, I heard about it also, that uh, mas malaki yung chance niya na ngayon na pumasa na, kahit hindi itong uh, remaining session days natin, kung maaaring sa sana, susunod. No, it can easily, based our dynamic stochastic general equilibrium modeling, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. which estimates the impacts. Right. I'll, I can easily add 5.1% mm -hmm. to GDP growth every year. That's right. That's one of the most important economic legislation, second only to the Philippine Constitution. Right. There's also so, there's also another um, measure that I... PSA. In, yes, that's correct. Diba, ito yung matagal nang inaantay. Actually, maraming clamor. Even when I was in Congress, Kong Joey, I remember that uh, they were already looking at these particular yes. provisions. But before you answer that, uh, naman, oh, 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 kailangan, we have to pause for another break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Mga isyung pinag-uusapan Mga palitang laman ng pahayagan Impormasyong dapat yung malaman Tatalakayin, pupusisiin At hihimayin ni Mario Garcia Kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan Face Off Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is still Congressman Joey Salceda who will answer us on a myriad of things in Congress because <laughs> it turns out na kung saan saan na tayo napunta kung ano. Oh, oh, nga eh. Kasi, you know, um, Congress is in the spotlight today. Yes. Not only because of the bills that uh, are pending that need to be passed badly, but also because of all the other extra political things, exercises that are happening, di ba? Maka oh. intramural. Oh, Hindi. intramural. <laughs> Hindi intram so, ano ngayon, ang, ano, ano ngayon ang iyong uh, take on that? We, I think people should focus on their job and finish it. And, and are they doing that? I think so. And uh, did you, uh, did like you see me, it in the research? I result? have uh, five, six bills mm -hmm. that are pending in the Senate. Mm -hmm. In the Senate? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yung una, nagawa na nila, which is really the higher cigarette tax and yes. higher alcohol tax. Mm -hmm. Now, they've done Citira. The and Citira, then, of course, yes. PSA, they've already done. Right. So, tatlo. So, may apat pa ako doon. Okay. So, yung PSA na yan, pag-usapan natin Ay, yan. Ay, sa... Na, um, Pasalamat po tayo sa ABS-CBN. Dahil? Dahil yung committee ba na yun, pag-uusapan sana yung, A bago pag-uusapan yung ABS, mm -hmm. in-approve muna nila to. So at least na-approve na siya? Oo, oh, kasi oh, para oh. naman mukhang ano. <laughs> so what, what, is, what are the salient, <laughs> salient features muna? Mali at bago natin pag-uusapan yung ABS since binanggit na, na siya. Hindi, wala <laughs> Hindi, yung, yung uh, salient features ng na-approve, yung on, on foreign ownership, kasi... We've, you Ngayon know, kasi, it's an old issue eh. Oh, well, Matagal na yan. Um, sa Constitution natin, nakalagay doon na... Nililimit pub, siya. Public utility ka hanggang 60-40. Ibig sabihin, Pilipino dapat. Tama naman, na Pilipino Tama. lang. Pero ano ba yung public utility? Mm -hmm. So, ang ginamit po na... Definition. Definition, lagi yun sa 1936. Okay. Yung uh, tinatawag na Commonwealth Act, CA-146, the Public Services Act. So, okay. lahat na nandun, in na public utility. I see. O, so, kung sundin mo yun, eh, di dapat yung ice plant public utility. O kayo, maniniwala ba kayo na public utility ice plant? <laughs> eh, yung tatay nung law na yun, yung pinalita nun, mm -hmm. kasama ang paratad-tad karne, butcher. Talaga? O. Oh. Public utility niya. Right. Eh, siguro naman, kahit common sense na lang magsasabi sa'yo. Yes. At uh, pag binasa mo na yung... May nilagay yung constitution na public utility. Mm -hmm. Therefore, ang nag-define yan ay isang act of Congress. Mm -hmm. CA, Commonwealth right. Act. And therefore, kaya palitan ng Kongreso. Oo, oh, oh, tama. So, at uh, nagawa na ba ng Kongreso? Oo, oh, oh, dalawa. Mm -hmm. Yung kay Janus Menya, Telecommunications mm -hmm. Act ng 1995. Okay. Na, uh, pero hindi masyadong clear kung nabuksan. Mm -hmm. uh, pero nakalagay doon na pwede nang pumasok ang foreigners sa telecom. Pangalawa, uh, yung sa IPIRA, sinabi doon na ang power, right. ang power generation ay hindi utility. Mm -hmm. Define doon na hindi utility. At sabi ng Supreme Court, sinabi niya na 
uh, sa JG Summit versus ano uh, sinabi niya doon na ang shipyard ay hindi utility mm-hmm. at sinabi din niya against provincial government of Bataan sinabi niya doon na ang power generation is not a utility okay. so in short there have been changes already right so at the end of the day so ano ba ang utility that's right ito po isang bagay na araw-araw ginagamit mo, mm-hmm. ginagamit ng publiko, na pwedeng i-demand. Pag binuksan ko yung, yung switch, It, dapat oh. may ilaw. At kailangan po, Too big. regularly provided niya. Mm-hmm. At ito ay of consequence, mm-hmm. hindi naman candy o holes. Mm-hmm. At dapat isang natural monopoly. In short, dapat ang public utility ay isang bagay na... Da, na mas mura para sa ekonomiya kung isa lang ang nagpo-provide. Mm-hmm. So, yan po ang pinaka-bottom line niya. It is mm-hmm. a, should be a natural monopoly. Paglampas dalawa, mas mura kung dalawa dahil may competition, right. hindi siya dapat public utility. I see. So, what was uh, included in that? Is, uh, did they adopt? Oh, okay. Tatlo. Ibig sabihin, katulad ng Meralco, Public mm-hmm. utility yan dahil kung uulitin mo lahat ng mga subtrans, lahat ng mga poste na yan, mm-hmm. mamahal po ang kuryente. That's, uh, and, and, uh, as At it kung is, malugi yung isa, uh-oh. charge po sa ekonomiya yung losses. Mm-hmm. Dahil nalugi. Tama. Kanino yung tatama. Panga, at dahil po dyan sa para hindi siya malugi, tatasan natin yung rate. Para mag-survive yung dalawa. Samantalang mm-hmm. dapat isa. Ay, isa pa, tubig. Oo, tubig. Ang tubig, mas mura at mapapatunayan kung isa lang ang nagde-deliver sa'yo. Mm. So, hindi naman ito na basta na namin pinulot sa langit. There is a very basic principle na ang sabi ko nga, dapat mas mura kung ang bagay ay mas mura sa atin kung isa lang ang, nag, ang nagpo-produce public utility yan. Pero, Congressman Joey, I think the school of thought that was against that in the first place, they were saying na, okay, sana yan, na it's a natural monopoly, no? But under the circumstances of the Philippine setting, nakikita mo how it can be manipulated so that it will become anti-poor instead of being pro-poor or Kaya, for the good of the common mass? Eh, yung ginawa po ng PSA... Kung saan ka dati nire-regulate, nire-regulate ka pa rin. Okay. It is a liberalization of mm-hmm. ownership, not a deregulation. Okay. So, so yung, kung nagre-report ka sa ERC, doon ka pa rin. Kung nagre-report ka sa LTFRB, bas ka ba, mm-hmm. doon ka pa rin. Nagre-report ka ba sa, sa NLEX, sa TRB, mm-hmm. para sa yung mga toll operation, doon ka pa rin. So, mm-hmm. wala naman pinalitan doon. Kailangan mo mong ng prangkisa, galing sa Kongreso, ihingi ka pa rin. Mm-hmm. Ang sinasabi lang namin, na pwede nang magkaroon ng majority control ang isang Foreign. foreigners. Ah, okay. And that's good. You think that uh, that will greatly help uh, not only increase in the FDI, but uh, also... Ay, oo, kasi sa buong, buong mundo na pinag po ng OECD, tayo na ang pinaka-restrictive, pinaka Talaga? Yes. Talo pa ta- ang Kampuchya now is the second most open. So tayo na lang naiiwan, kumbaga. Oo, oh, dahil... Oh. Uh, eh, pero matagal na natin dahil pa... Dahil siguro sa behavior po ng ating mga big business, hindi, hindi na nakukuha ng tiwala ng tao. O kaya, kaya sila right. mismo po ang, ang gumagawa ng para para po hindi makapasok ang mga kalaban. Alam mo, totoo yan. And I think you've encapsulated what everybody has been saying all along. Hindi ba? So, siguro, kung hindi, kung hindi sa, kung na-check sana yung mga ab- so-called abuses ng mga big businesses. Makaka-check lang po yan, kalaban. Oo, Kasi eh, kung may, kung may, kung may karibal, monopoly? Kung may, kung may karibal ka, mm-hmm. siyempre magpapaganda ka. Ah, dama. Ah, Di ba? At gaganda lahat ng services mo, ang products Kaya, mo. Kaya, ang tanong, okay ba? Mabilis ba internet mo? Mura ba ang text mo? Masa mo ba ang eroplano? Dumarating ng tamang oras. May mapagpipilihan ka ba? Kung masama ang serbisyo, masungit yung mga stewardess mm-hmm. ng, ng isang airline. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan yung choice ng consumer should be supreme, should be sovereign. Actually, PSA is about the sovereignty of the consumer, of the ordinary consumer, of the Filipino. 
because the, the provider are mostly big business. And therefore, the best way there is to have the market should be, um, there should be a reasonable threat of entry, credible threat of entry to make the incumbent, the incumbent players behave reasonably competitive. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag tinasan niya yung presyo, ah, maganda pala kita dyan. Tama. Papasukin hindi... kita. Kasi oh. uh, napakalukratin pala negosyo mo. Oh. So, papasukin ko yan. Eh, kaso sarado. That's right. So, sila lang nakakapag-control. Kaya, importante po ang PSA para po mas lalong makapasok po ang kompetisyon laban po sa mga halos lahat na ginawa ng Diyos na industriya dito sa Pilipinas. Lahat oligarkiya. Totoo lahat yan. duopoly. Tubig, duopoly. Airlines, duopoly. Telecoms, duopoly. Wala na yatang natira. So, kung gusto natin mayroon magpositibong... Um, pagbabago that will prompt positive consequences in the lives of the ordinary people then we must open them to competition absolutely i mean you couldn't have said it more you know that is the sentiment Pero, of majority of the bago Filipinos bago ko naman anin meron po tayong mga ito kaya nilista ko talaga oh, kasi oh, baka kala naman binenta na namin Pilipinas mm -hmm. sa incheck kasi alam mo naman yan there's an uh, that's uh, that's actually ano ha also eh wala sana tong problema kung yung China hindi nanguha ng bata ng bata ng parang ano puting ban <laughs> nanguha ng island oh. so ang importante po dito ano yung mga safeguards right sige number one in this on the president can cite national security to prohibit any merger acquisition or entry of a foreign investor. Absolutely, yes, yes. Pangalawa, makakapag-invest lang sila kung mga Pilipino inaalaw din sa home country nila. Okay, so reciprocity, reciprocity tama yes. Po. Pangatlo, uh, yung mga fines, violation, talagang in-increase to the max para lahat magbibehave. Mm -hmm. Pangat, pangapat, yung mga ni-reiterate na Oy, ikaw, NLEX, SLEX, ikaw talaga lahat ng desisyon sa iyo, TRB. Kasi mm -hmm. hindi mo na alam. Kasi, na, and then, that's, uh, that's one problem, Congressman, because ang sinasabi nila, yung problem ng interconnection, ayaw nilang magpa-interconnect. Kaya, diba? kaya nga, yun. Hindi mga, dapat yun. Eh, kasi yung prangkisa belongs to government and it was just given to PNCC. Kaya nga, oh, nag-exist pa sila dahil Correct. dyan sa prangkisa. And therefore, eh. the TRB should decide. Right. Because that is properly lodged in them Oo. by regulation, not for liberalization. Oo. So, the Malaysian can own the SLEX for all I care. That's right. I, I totally agree. I mean, hindi dapat ang determination ng interconnection nasa kanila. Nasa, the, the franchise belongs to government. Tapos, tulad po dyan sa Miss Latel, na ang nagagawa ay mga inchik, mm -mm. na puro taga Huawei, <laughs> oh, no. na puro taga Hubei. <laughs> Kaya nga, Pu puro taga Hubei ba sila? Oo. Ikaw naman. Kaya ko nagdiya bibiro, kaya nga na-delay eh. Yung dito? Oh, pero wala tayo masyadong eh, COVID-19. <laughs> ah, That's but, what they're but, saying compared to the others. Pumunta mo na yung mga, kaso yung mga professionals, eh, na, na pumunta mo na sila ng Malaysia, doon sila right. nag-19 days? Doon sila nag-quarantine. Pagpasok dito, kinakwarantin sana ulit. Oo. Kasi galing din sila sa may corona. Anyway, na-solve na, 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 na din naman yun. Ano sinanbak ko yung binanggit yun? Uh -huh. Na pwede lang sila mag-hire hmm. ng mga professional kung wala dito niyo. Right. The, if the expertise needed is, is not here, di ba? There are no competent Philippine nationals mm -hmm. willing and able to perform the service. Right. So, ang point na lang dyan ay yung willing. Eh, kung ang presyo mo naman eh... Siyempre, 100,000 per month is siyempre yung Pilipino aayaw na lang. Tama, diba? tama. And Oo. then lastly, Oo. yung uh, kasi may nakalagay po dyan, di ba lahat ngayon, public utility. Sure. Under the constitution, pwede silang i-take over for national interest. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, del pinagtatanggal mo siya sa public utility, di ba? Mm -hmm. So hindi na ba sila? Ngayon, very clear po dun sa batas that formally classified as public utilities, they will be businesses affected with public interest and therefore they are subject to take over. Okay. So okay. those are the six, um, Salient. six, oh, oh. six uh, safeguards na pinasiguro namin na para po naman um, wag kayo kakabahan na hindi naman namin pinamimigay ang Pilipinas. 
Ang Pilipinas ay napakaganda, marami pong gustong pumasok at laman ligaw, kaso sarado ang pinto, pati ang gate, kaya papano po tayo liligawan ng mga foreign investors? Tama, okay. Um, so, sinusolo when... lang tayo ng mga Ayala, ng Gokongway, <laughs> sinusolo tayo ng mga... So, kailangan po talaga eh, magkaroon ng competition. That's right. Kasi, ano, speaking of foreign ownership, ganyan din ang nagiging issue ngayon sa ABS-CBN Franchise Renewal, di ba? Pero, eto na naman, pasensya ka na at ikakat ila ko tao ulit, ano? That's uh, gonna be our topic after this break. Please, please stay with us. The Philippines has been around for centuries. Malayo na rin ang narating natin. But back then, the way of life has been mostly analog. Did you know that you need to take a boat from Cavite in order to go to Manila? Yes, ganon ang takbo ng buhay dati. You need to send a letter to the United States? Sure, pero aabutin ka ng isang buwan bago matanggap ang iyong liham. Kailangan mong tumawag sa bahay o sa iyong kaibigan? Many ways to do that. Pwede ka maghulog ng 325 sa payphone or use that vintage rotary phone na most likely 6 digits lang ang landline number. Forget about email. Telex at fax machine ang modes of communication for business. You want to listen to that one song of your favorite band on repeat? Sorry pero kailangan mong i-rewind ang cassette tape. Buong album naman ang kailangan mong bilhin kahit iisang kanta lang ang gusto mo doon. But things change, and we as a race progress. The world is getting small. We are now a traveling population. Why? Because travel is now cheap. Our friends are across the world because our form of communication is now borderless. Time zones are now meant to serve as a guide and not as a limitation. We can buy things from the comfort of our homes. Nasanay na tayo sa convenience because why not? It is the price of development and a glimpse of our future. Have you imagined the future? How do you think it will look like? Driverless cars? Yes, autonomous driving will happen. Robots replacing low-value processes done by humans? Tama ka dyan. Paying for your groceries using digital currency? Very realistic. Materials being 3D printed instead of ordering? Yes, we are indeed a progressive race. And technology plays a vital and crucial part of it. How will this affect our lives? Kailangan ba natin itong matutunan? Mahirap ba itong aralin? Or kaya naman? How can our nation take advantage of these advancements? All of these can be understood and learned. Tayo ng matuto para umunlad. Nandito na ang Abante. Progress through technology. Good evening and welcome back to Congress Diaries. Our guest for tonight is still Congressman Joey Salceda and we have been talking about a myriad of topics, uh, you know, that is facing Congress today. We started with your measure and then we went on to other topics and now because you talked about foreign ownership in the last uh, segment before we took a break, uh, ito rin yung same issue ngayon sa ABS-CBN franchise. Can you update us, uh, Congressman? What is happening uh, on, on this one? Ano na ba? Bakit sabi nila ayaw man lang Ako daw itakong ng Kongreso? Kahit, kahit wala akong alam sa... Past. But you were one of those who supported, yeah. yes. Be, kahit wala akong alam. Eh, yung CBCP nga yan, pinabayan ma-approve. So, di ko maintindihan kung bakit mga tao tumatambling. <laughs> the CBCP franchise uh -oh. was allowed to be re renewed mm -hmm. by the president. Okay. So, uh, I cannot understand. Then they are more antagonistic and they probably have deeper differences mm -hmm. beyond being political. Mm -hmm. So, I always expected that this thing will be approved. Okay. So, I knew and uh, kung ako naman practical na politiko, mm -hmm. meron dyan, ano, may, meron akong manok sa likod. Mm -hmm. Patay o buhay. Mm -hmm. Ano sabihin mo? Pag sinabi mong patay, bubuhayin ko. Pag sinabi kong buhay, buhay papatayin ko. Mm -hmm. Simple lang, may eleksyon. Lahat ng presidente, siyempre, gusto mo yung legacy mo ma-preserve. Tama. And therefore, lahat ng presidente gusto ang, wants to name their successor. Mm -hmm. 
which is better? You kill ABS and nobody will benefit from it. That's mm -hmm. good because you're incumbent. But what if you are able to swing it on your side? And nobody else can swing it except you because you're incumbent. Right. I'm, I'm just talking from uh, games theory, uh, not mm -hmm. as a politician, uh, from yes. games theory perspective. Mm -hmm. So in short, ergo, it will be renewed. Okay. I, I, uh, I would uh, think also that because uh, there, are, there have been pronouncements by the president uh, of late, diba sabi niya, I accept your apology. Ibayad mo na lang yung, uh, yung 2.6 million na yan, ibigay mo na lang sa isang charity. Now, what do I you know, think you know, of that I, signal? I want say, I always see the president, if, if what are the right things he's doing? Mm -hmm. More than this, uh, oh, eh, people just wants to ponder to his uh, more, uh, but if you look at them to his more cerebral mm -hmm. rather than the jugular, mm -hmm. Uh, if you use that as a guide, mm -hmm. it would actually be easier for you to sort of. Ano ba ginagawa ba niya tama o hindi? Ako tingin ko he's doing the right things. Eh. I also agree you with you. Just look that. at the more cerebral yes. things, train, be building, <laughs> and nadi distract mo siya doon tao. Eh. Mas cute, eh. mas mas rap, eh. mas maraming mm -hmm. mas maraming mas marami segue, mas marami ano, mas maraming well, at saka mas pinag-uusapan kasi eh, sa social madaling media. Ma, madaling ma-headline, oh. pero ako naman kasi, I, I need to go through uh, as a policy maker mm -hmm. uh, this, I, I think um, in fact to me that the president is actually impeccably predict predictable. You think so? Yeah, because I know that he just wants what's good eh. Oh, oh. Good that, policies. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, all these things, I'm not... Hindi ako na... Hindi ako na... Hindi ka na ba bother? Hindi ako affected. Hindi ka affected. Hindi <laughs> oh. ako, ano? Hindi ako distracted. Oh, oh. Actually, I think um, some people would say that uh, the president is coming from a place where, you know, he's just being consistent. Ayaw niya sa mga oligarchy. Uh, sa ko. oligarchs. Yun ang sinasabi niya, no? Pero ang sinasabi naman ng iba... Eh, you are creating a new breed of uh, oligarchs also, oh, di ba? You're breaking the old, creating new. Ano Alam sa palagay mo? Meron ako dito, isang chart. From oh. Marcos to him. And what does the chart say? Everybody on the average have seven cronies. He only has one. Is that good? Is that bad? That means, lahat ng presidente may, may paramount business groups. Mm -hmm. Lahat. Lahat. Siya lang, isa lang. Lahat, ang dami. Siyempre, pinakamarami si Marcos. Mm -hmm. I have that chart. Mm -hmm. And including, the, including no, I, I presented it to the Makati Business Club mm -hmm. yesterday. Ano okay. ba problema nyo? Cronyism? Pinakita ko sa kanila. Oh. Sino ba may pinakamarami mm -hmm. na inalagaan o pina-emerge mm -hmm. na Paramount Business Group that is so, so, so called to be influential with the administration and cornered everything no no man, not corner wa, wa, bakit ano na corner ni ano ni Yudena pangalan na natin oh so you're talking about Mr. Dennis yeah, of course. Uy. he will be one of our guests in the eh, in, in the a, economic forum of the Manila Times but uh, yes is he, you're is he a benevolent mm -hmm. he is participating in highly mm -hmm. competitive markets that's true I and understand what are that, the government yes. advantages that are accruing to him? Mm -hmm. It's just he's taking, he's risking money, mm -hmm. and definitely, yung, yung, this guy is worth 700 billion. Mm -hmm. wow. Tapos yung 700 million na guarantee, mm -hmm. which is needed by banks so they can go over the single borrower's limit, yung panaging issue. Sabi ko, kung ako naman kay Dennis, bakit ko pa kasi pinakialam yung 700 million na yun eh, Diyos ko. Ang lit, lit. Is this the one you're talking the about? The, tel the, the telecom, yung sa no, dito? No, 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 the guarantee. Ah, for the guarantee. But the guarantee for which, No, I do not need to explain, Dennis. Uh -oh. But have I seen really uh, disproportionate mm -hmm. use of uh, market power by Dennis Uy? No. The, you know what? I, I, I tend to agree with you uh, in that particular instance only because... Like, you know, you stated all the points, di ba? That, that's there. Yeah, if you call, oh. if, he, if he is like a, can I define ko, paramount business groups. Mm -hmm. From Marcos till Duterte. Mm -hmm. Si Duterte ang may pinakakonte. In fact, isa lang. Isa lang. Eh, yung lahat meron. Mm -hmm. Marami. 
Maraming lumaki dahil ikaw yung presidente. Oo. Uh, ay, ay, eh siya lumaki eh, dahil din. Oh, well, of course, because uh, he trusted the president. And, you know, and, and uh, risk, uh, kumaga, sumugal siya sa Pangulo. Tama. Sumugal siya sa ekonomiya ng Pangulo. Mm -hmm. So, siya, isa siya sa mga bagong lumaki. Mm -hmm. So, yung, ang, ang estimate ko naman, sino ba yung mga lumaki sa bawat Pangulo? Mm -hmm. So, nilagay ko po yun sa isang chart. So, nabigla po yung Makati Business Club. Okay, co Congressman uh, Joey, we were discussing about foreign ownership and then um, obviously ABS-CBN franchise renewal, right? And one of the issues here is, uh, yun nga, eh, foreigner daw yung uh, chairman ng ABS-CBN. So, obviously... Foreigner ba? Si Gabby Lopez daw has... May passport uh, yun? Oo. Na, US Tsaka, nga yung passport niya. Tsaka may Filipino passport. May dual passport. naman yun. Eh. Oo nga, dual. So, I, I mean, it's not up to me because, uh, you know, as a disclosure, I, I came Filipino. from them also. Because I actually, kasama po yung kumpanya ko nung mag-list ng ABS. Mm -hmm. Yung kasama po kami sa nag-invento ng PDR. Nag-invento ng PDR? Yes. Can you explain to us? Kasi mukhang ito yung ginagawang issue ngayon, eh. yung PDRs, yung Philippine Depository Receipts, uh -oh. right? It's uh, an instrument that we use in the, in the market, but it's something that uh, normal people would normally not talk about. Well, so, can you demystify ano ba yung PDRs na yan and why is this uh, the bone of contention now? May this? shares ka. Uh Oo. -oh. It's like a concept stock. Mm -hmm. So, may shares ka. So, we create like an index stock mm -hmm. na ang laman ay ABS lang. Mm -hmm. Kung sino man po nag-invest sa index stock like uh, Phil Equity stock, uh, fund, and that fund holds only ABS. Mm -hmm. So, you can buy the fund, but mm -hmm. you cannot own what it, what it owns. Mm -hmm. So, the fund essentially will sell ABS and ang matitira doon, pera. Oh, in this particular case, the fund uh, is yung capital... Yung fund dito, yung is the PDR, mm -hmm. which is a corporation that holds some shares of uh, ABS-CBN. Mm -hmm. Then, so you can buy uh, the fund, mm -hmm. but you don't own what's inside of it. Now, uh, if the law allows, mm -hmm. eventually, that you can own what's inside, then that's the only time. So, but you will never be able... If you're a foreigner, you're totally disallowed from owning the, the owning. The, the the embedded ABS CBN shares. Right. So you're just limited. No, pag tumaas yung PDR di ibenta mo. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, usually ang sumasalo niyan is the company that uh, no, not, necessarily, not necessarily not necessarily pwede din yung ibang funds. Pwedeng ibang funds yeah, if like, they uh, want to. Like PLDT started mm -hmm. as a PDR in right. uh, in uh, New York Stock yeah. Exchange. They have ADRs, di ba? No. Tagal na. Uh, 1989, they listed their PDRs in, uh, ADRs in, mm. in, in uh, I know that was the time that we were both in the market. Yes. When, <laughs> yes. And PLDT was trading at only four times PE. That's and right. Telmex was doing 19. In other words, um, to sum it up, Kong, Kong Joey, Dibig sabihin, parang itong... kabayo lang talaga yan. Oh. Tapos bumili ka ng ticket. Tapos, pumusta ka doon sa kabayong yun. Hindi mo naman iuwi yung kabayo. <laughs> okay, I think that is the best explanation that I have heard so far, Kong Joey. Pero pag nanalo yung kabayo mo, kukunin pum mo yung winnings. Kukunin oh. mo yung winnings. Oh, oh. Pumusta ka. That's, that's, I think that's Pum the simplest way. In, but in a, it, it is a concept stock. That's right. I understand. Okay, so I hope that one helped um, some of our viewers also. Kasi this is, you know, to them, these are jargons, technical jargons that they don't normally understand. So ngayon, mag-wrap up na tayo, Kong Joey. So um, I hope that, uh, you know, this bill that you are now uh, sponsoring will uh, eventually pass uh, in both houses Salamat and it na. becomes a law. And uh, meron ka pang actually yung dalawa, di ba? Sa mo, anim yung ano mo oh, eh. Dami pa eh. Oo, eh. Oo, eh. Nakita ko nga madami kang envelopes dyan eh. So, <laughs> Baka but, kung ano yung tanong mo eh. <laughs> Oo nga. <laughs> Ilalabasan mo ako ng documents. Uh, hindi so, naman. Um, yung ano lang, kung oh, pang So what are the last two? Uh, sa final word, what's uh, the last two that uh, you wanted ah, to push? No. Uh, mas, mas importante po na ang na tayo po, ang kailangan po ng ating bansa ay isa pong high trust society mm -hmm. para po mas manging um, mabilis ang paglago uh, ng ating ekonomiya yes. para po ang mga patakaran na kinakailangan upang po ang Pilipinas ay makahabol sa ibang bansa para po we can claim our rightful place 
in the family of nations mm -hmm. and therefore we can become a upper high income country we can um, reduce poverty to single digit by 2022 we can be a credit an a rating credit we can achieve a credit mm -hmm. rating by 2022 hindi po yan mangyayari kung wala po tayong pagkakaisa kahit pagkakaisa na mahal natin ang ating bansa kaya po sana kailangan po ang Mak makilahok tayo para mas maintindihan natin kung ano po yung mga issue para tayo mismo po ang magbibigay po ng suporta sa mga tamang patakaran po ng ating gobyerno. At po na din kung paminsan-minsan po ito ay lumilihis sa, sa kung ano po ang ating pong pangarap para sa ating pong mga anak, para mm -hmm. sa ating mga pamilya. At the end of the day, this is your country and the only country you love and it's never too late to love your country. That's true. Well said. Thank you very much for being with us today, Congressman. Oh, salamat. And uh, for opening only one of my ano. Oh, nga eh. Alam ko madami ka pa dyan, but don't worry. This will be the first and definitely not the last. We hope to see you once again here. I have another show, so we will uh, line you up for that. Thank you very Thank much. You. And uh, I will, uh, yes, but I will close it. Don't go, don't go first. That's it for our episode of Congress Diaries. And uh, we will be back again uh, next week. In the meantime, I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin, saying good night and see you next week.